Rob, spark fun, new products, let's go. First up, we've got a new pair of wire strippers. These are actually from Hakko. So these are a higher quality version of the previous strippers that we've had. And you can see that they've got a lot nicer grip and they just overall are a lot nicer. We had some complaints on the cheaper ones that they wouldn't strip the really thin gauge wire as well. Um, Hakko's strip pretty much any gauge wire you can throw at it. So they're a lot sharper, a lot nicer to handle. So if you're looking for a higher grade pair of strippers, check out Hakko. Next up, we've actually got a few new products from Adafruit. Um, we're actually carrying a few of their NeoPixel lines. We've got the NeoPixel Shield. We've got this NeoPixel panel, which is 8 by 8, so it's 64 LEDs. And we've got a couple of the rings and the NeoPixel bar. Now, NeoPixel is just kind of a fancy name for WS2812, which is very similar to WS2011, and all that is is an RGB LED that you can address. So each one of these individual LEDs, you can tell it to be on, off, any of the red, green, blue color variations or any kind of mixing in between them. So that is what an addressable means. These are the same ones that are in the RGB LED strips and some of the other products we have, like the LilyPad Pixel and things like that. The shield actually comes as a kit with all the headers and everything separately, as you can see. So you do have to solder that together, but everything else comes pretty much pre-assembled. You just need to solder some wires onto it to get it going. We do have several different tutorials for how to control the WS2812 or any of its variants. So if you check out the product pages for any of these, there is an Adafruit tutorial. And additionally, if you check out any of the other tutorials that we have on learn.sparkfun.com, you can easily see how to control these LEDs. Lastly, we have a new Simon kit. This is the Simon Tilts. The Simon Tilts is very similar to the traditional Simon game, except for it uses these three little ball bearing tilt sensors to actually play the game by tilting it around. It's kind of like a bop it without the bopping. Comes with the board, all the parts, and does come with batteries included. You do need to solder together the kit, but we do have instructions on how to do that linked to on the product page, and the IC does come pre-programmed. Woo! I think I won. What did I win? So the tilt sensors are actually made up of these little tubes that have a ball bearing on the inside. So that's what kind of rattles around on the inside of the kit. And you can see that there's actually a little hole right here. And we're using these little infrared emitters and detectors to actually see through that hole to see if the ball is in there or not, and thus detecting the tilt. So there you have it. These are our products for this week. We have the Adafruit NeoPixel lineup. We also have the new Simon, and of course we have the higher quality Hakko flush cutters. In addition this week, we also have the third installment, episode three of Robotics 101, which is linear motion. So be sure to check that out. And as always, we have more new products on the website. So be sure to check that out at sparkfun.com. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products.